Hello everyone! Today we'll be looking at how to write your story in light novel formatting. I hope you enjoy today's video and it helps you to turn your light novel into a masterpiece. So let's discuss how to write in light novel style and formatting. So first of all, what is a light novel? A light novel is a Japanese style of novel which usually contains around 50,000 words. In a standard Japanese light novel, they will usually be small enough to carry in a bag or on the go, which is why they are very popular in Japan. So let's discuss light novel printing formatting first of all, if you want to eventually print your English light novel. In Japan, a light novel is usually printed in bankobon format. This is the small format that makes it easy to carry. And usually the size will be 4.1 inches by 5.8 inches. Once translated to English, they can vary in size, with some being the size of a regular paperback novel and some being bigger or smaller. Most light novels are around 50,000 words, but they can be longer or shorter. There will usually be around 8 to 12 manga style drawings per light novel book which are included alongside the writing, but keep in mind that not all light novel books need to have drawings included with them. Many writing software will have options in the page layout to help you to resize your pages if you know at the start what kind of page size you really want to have. You can also leave this step for later if you aren't sure what size you want your light novel to be. Also, if you plan on releasing your light novel online on a website like Web Novel, or if you are planning on releasing it as an ebook, then you won't need to worry about this. These are just some printing steps that may help you if you plan on printing your light novel later on. So now let's discuss light novel writing structure. Light novels will usually follow a certain structure and style, and while the styles can vary depending on the author's personal style, it can be really helpful to consider the qualities that are consistent usually throughout a variety of light novels. So let's analyse this writing structure today to help you create your own English light novel. So let's first discuss the point of view. Usually in a light novel, the point of view will either be in first person or third person. First person is when the character is telling the story, sort of like they are writing a diary and using words like I, me or my. So let's look at this example from The Empty Box and Zero of Maria by Eiji Mikage. It's not like I've completely forgotten about it. I probably still remember this place and I even dream of its scenery, just as I am doing now. I can only remember this place in my dreams. So this is an example of first person from a light novel, and you can see they're using the words I, and they're telling the story as if they are telling that story from their perspective. So let's now look at an example of third person. Third person is when situations are being described, allowing the author to put a stronger focus on the descriptions and the scenery around, as well as put the spotlight on multiple characters throughout the story. So let's look at this example from Overlord by Kugane Moriyama. The night in front of her was frozen in place, his eyes looking somewhere off to the girl's side. His completely defenseless posture clearly displayed the fear that filled him. As though drawn by the night's gaze, the girl could not help but turn and look in the same direction as him. And so, the girl gazed upon despair. So let's discuss what is better for your light novel, whether you want to choose first person or third person. Now, I just want to say straight up that it really doesn't matter if you really want to write it in first person or third person, then that choice is completely up to you and what style you prefer. But I just want to discuss some reasons why authors may choose first person or third person over the other. So first person is helpful if you wish to tell a story from a certain character's perspective. It's also helpful if you want to write that story as though you were writing a diary. You want to, you may want to take a stronger philosophical approach in your book and this can be easier if you are writing from first person because you're able to really get in the character's mind and reveal their inner thoughts. The story may centre around that protagonist and they are the ones telling the story. So you may want to choose third person if you have a lot of characters and you need a story that puts a focus on all of these characters. The story is set in a unique and detailed world which would require a lot of description. The story has a stronger focus on unique weapons or armour which would also need to be described. So it's always up to you whether you choose first person or third person, but those are some reasons why you may wish to choose one option over the other for your light novel. So now let's look at sentence structure. Sentences may be longer or shorter depending on what is necessary for the scene. In scenes of higher intensity, writers tend to use shorter staccato sentences on multiple lines to help build tension in the scene. So let's look at this example of this from Overlord. 
The girl squeezed her eyes tightly shut and bit her lower lip. She had never asked for this. She had been forced into her present circumstances. If only she had some strength, she might have resisted the enemy in front of her and fled. However, the girl did not have that strength. And the sentence breaks off into the next one. Thus, there could only be one outcome to this situation. That would be the girl's death at this very place. The long sword fell, and yet there was no pain. So as you can see, the author is using these shorter sentences right here in order to build more intensity in the scene, to build up the scene and make it feel more interesting as the scene progresses. Longer sentences and paragraphs are not as commonly seen in a light novel, but may be used depending on the writer's style during moments when more description is required, and in slower paced scenes. It can also help during introductions. Senjo Gahara Hitaji occupies the position of the girl who is always ill in our class. She is not expected to participate in PE, of course, and is even allowed to suffer morning and school-wide assemblies in the shade alone, as a precaution against anemia or something. Though we've been in the same class my first, my second, and this, my third and final year of high school, I've never once seen her engaged in any sort of vigorous activity. She's a regular at the nurse's room and she arrives late, leaves early, or simply doesn't show up to school because she has to visit her primary care hospital time and again, to the point where it's rumoured in jest that she lives there. That example is from Bakemonogatari by Nisi Oisin. So now let's look at dialogue structure in a light novel. Dialogue will follow standard grammar rules, which is quotation marks at the start of the dialogue, the sentence ender, and then the closed quotations. However, there are unique elements to light novel dialogue. Light novels usually have a stronger focus on dialogue more than other novel styles. Dialogue between two speakers will usually be put on a separate line per speakers once it is clear who is speaking. There will usually also be minimal dialogue tags, such as said. So let's look at this example from Bakemonogatari. Senjo Gahara, Hanekawa tilted her head in response to my question. Is something the matter with Senjo Gahara? Nothing like that, I answered vaguely. I was just kind of wondering about her. Huh. I mean, you know, isn't that an interesting and weird name? Senjo Gahara Hitaji? You do realize that Senjo Gahara is the name of a place? Uh, no, not that part. I was talking about, um, her given name. Senjo Gahara's? You mean Hitaji? Is it that strange? I want to say it's a term related to construction. You know everything, don't you? So as you can see in this example, once it's been established who is speaking and who the conversation is between, the lines of the character's dialogue is put on separate lines. And this is one way that light novels can make it clearer who is speaking and also help to put a focus on that character's dialogue. So make sure when you are writing your dialogue in your light novel that it is clear who is speaking, but once you have made it clear who the conversation is between, you can put their lines of dialogue on separate lines for each speaker. So let's look at a dialogue example that I wrote. And in this example, I wanted to show you an example of dialogue written in a English novel style. And then I wanted to show you what that dialogue might look like if it were written in a light novel. So this is an example I wrote for a English novel style that you might see in other English novels. Suki walked towards Haru, reaching her hand towards him. In her outstretched palm lay a small water lily flower, white in the center and pink at the edges. Suki gave him a timid smile. What do you think? she murmured. I told you that they would bloom today, didn't I? Haru took the flower and gently put it in Suki's hair. Her face turned pink and he smiles. Now you look like a flower too. So now I've rewritten it in more of a light novel style to help to demonstrate the difference in the English dialogue and the light novel dialogue. Suki walked towards Haru, her hand outstretched towards him, and in the center of her palm lay a flower. It was a water lily flower, white in the center and pink at the edges. What do you think? Suki smiled timidly. I told you that they would bloom today, didn't I? Haru took the flower and gently put it in Suki's hair. Her face turned pink. He smiles. Now you look like a flower too. I think the main difference in this is that in a light novel there will be more breaks in the paragraph. 
In a English novel, the paragraphs may usually be longer and more descriptive, but in a light novel, it will usually focus on how to be descriptive in shorter, more staccato sentences. The tension in the scene will be built up through using those shorter sentences to build that intensity. You will also notice that in the dialogue, there will usually be less dialogue tags, but usually the dialogue will really speak for itself. One thing I do want to say is that there is nothing wrong with either of these examples. If you wish to write your light novel with more of a descriptive style, then that is perfectly fine. But if you want to write your light novel like this, then that is okay too. I just wanted to show you an example with more of a traditional English style and then more of a light novel style to demonstrate the differences between both of these styles. But you can choose whichever style you want to use for your light novel. So now let's look at descriptions. Light novel descriptions can vary depending on the style of the author. It's important to only describe the most important features and not everything. You may wish to break down the description across multiple scenes. When it comes to descriptions, character voices can help with descriptions. Consider how your character perceives what they are describing and including that perspective can make the description feel more believable. In the beginning of Bakemonogatari, like this example, the character really shows their own perspective and thoughts about what is happening and how they are seeing the events unfolding. You can tell this by the way that the author has sort of included their own perspective through the way they are describing things, such as saying, she's not expected to participate in PE, of course, and is even allowed to suffer morning and school-wide assemblies in the shade alone as a precaution against anemia or something. So you can really see the character's personality pushed into that line. And then also how they finish the bottom paragraph where they say, you could say earnestly, that phrase and its connotations aptly describe Senjokahara, I agree. So understanding your character's personality and their character voice can really help when writing descriptions because especially if you're writing in first person, you can really put your character's perspective and thoughts and their own personality into what they're describing. So let's now discuss character voice because I believe character voice is one of the most important elements of creating a good light novel. Consider how you can show your character's personality through their dialogue and the way they describe the world. So in this example which we read earlier from Bakemonogatari, you can really see how both characters have their personalities showing through their dialogue. So when you begin creating your light novel, I highly recommend understanding your character's personalities really well so that you can show those personalities through the dialogue. So let's now discuss grammar and punctuation. Grammar and punctuation is just as important in a light novel as any novel. Ensure that you understand how to use this effectively in your writing to make your writing easy to read. So now let's discuss some final notes for writing and structure for a light novel. First of all, understand your point of view. First person and third person is most commonly used. First person is good if you want to tell the story from your protagonist's perspective. Third person is helpful in science fiction, fantasy or isekai where unique locations may need to be described. The style can vary with some using more detailed paragraphs and others using short staccato sentences. Shorter sentences on their own lines may be used in moments of higher intensity or fast paced scenes. These may be sometimes ended on a dash instead of a full stop if the sentence ends on a cliffhanger. Dashes may also be used to interrupt sentences or as a longer pause than a comma. Know your characters well and let their personality shine through their sentences. This is one of the major elements of light novel writing. Dialogue doesn't always end on a dialogue tag such as said. In many cases, once it is clear who is speaking, the dialogue will be on its own line per character. The way the dialogue is written can help to describe how the text is being spoken. So those are my tips for writing in light novel style and formatting. But keep in mind that no matter which style you choose to use for your light novel, it's important to find that unique style and allow your own style to shine through the story you're telling. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know about what kind of light novel you're creating because I would love to hear about it and I'm sure others would love to hear about it too. Feel free to chat with me on any of my social media at Midnight's Cross because I always enjoy hearing from you. Visit my website for free resources, learning materials and courses which can help you to level up your story. Thank you again for joining me in today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!